Welcome back, people, to Lynx Radio. It's me, Gaurav, and this week on Tech Talks, Foxconn, a supplier for Samsung and Apple Electronics and chipsets, have fired 60,000 factory workers and replaces them with robots. We can all agree that technology is advancing at a very rapid rate. Hospitals are able to treat more patients, we can navigate almost anywhere with GPS on our phones, social media lets us communicate across the globe, but like many things, not everything is perfect. Large corporations are taking advantage of the latest technologies in order to streamline their productivity while saving money. Although this can be a good thing for production and savings, many employees, especially factory workers, are losing their jobs because of this advance in technology. Evidence of this was shown by the company Foxconn, who are responsible for creating motherboards, chips, and other electronic parts for large corporations such as Apple and Samsung. Foxconn has recently fired over 60,000 factory workers in exchange for robots. This allows the company to never have to pay wages, worry about insurances, or other accidents. In short, they don't have to pay people if they replace them with more efficient robots that don't require lunch breaks or holidays like we do. Many jobless people will struggle in a society where automation and technology will soon replace many labor jobs, which take up a large portion of the work industry. Let's see what others have to say about this matter. We are now here with Gertes from Gaming News Weekly. So tell us Gertes, how would factories become more efficient once the workers have been replaced by machines? Well, to be honest, Gorb, I think the cost of actually running the factories is going to go down by a lot. It's going to be more, much more cost efficient because the machines cost a lot more to build at one time, but in the long term, they cost less to maintain. But workers, hire them is kind of a con uh, continuous cost, so it'll be really expensive. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good answer, actually. So number two, how would you think this will affect the families of the laid-off workers? Well, to be honest, I think this will really negatively affect the families of the laid-off workers because now the, the primary source of income for the families is cut off. So how, how will they survive now? How, how are they going to pay for the food, kids' education, clothing, and another cost like that? That is true, especially for people who just immigrated to this country and other countries. Um, you know, usually people who have to go through labors, obviously this would be a problem for them as well. Number three. If this situation does go out of hand, what would the future of the work industry look like, in your opinion? Well, to be honest, to be honest the work industry would look really automated. Like, everyone would be replaced by machines in pretty much every factory, which would mean so many people would be unemployed. So the national unemployment rate would go up a lot. And a lot of families will suffer because of it. Yeah, that is true. So that's all from Tech Talks. Stay tuned to Lynx Radio for more technology-related news. Gorov signing out.